Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a bold lip with a simple eye look. For the eye look today, I used the Rosé All Day palette from Carity. I bought this a while back, but I haven't used it at all. I've pretty much, I think I've used it one time and I don't remember what I thought. So I broke this back out today to give it another shot. And then I recently placed an order on ColourPop and, um, I'm trying out some new lippies today. So if you are excited about this simple eye look with a bold lip, please keep watching. Okay, so for this look today, I want to do like a super beautiful pop of color on my lips and then we'll kind of cater the eyeshadow look to that. And to do the lip today, I'm going for like a watermelony pinkish color and I recently did an order on ColourPop um, and I bought this ColourPop lippy stick in the color I Love This. This is like a really pretty watermelon color. And then I also picked up the So Juicy Lip Plumping Gloss in the color Make It Savvy. So this is what I'm going for today um, and I'm so excited. I love doing like a really bold pop of color with like a really gorgeous simple eye. So. That is what I'm going for today. So my first impression of these lippy sticks, I really love that the applicator is like kind of angled because then it helps you get that nice line. I'm also going to add the lip plumping gloss just because I don't typically go for like lip pump plumping glosses but my lips right now are so terrible. <laughs> they are so flaky. I like I don't know what to do guys. Um, so I'm gonna add this a little bit just to like add some moisture but these these uh, lippy sticks are not drying at all. They're really comfortable, so I could, if I wanted to, just leave it at this, but I kind of want it to be a little bit glossy just to hide the fact that my, um, that my lips are disgusting right now. <laughs> These plumping glosses are more of like a sheer formula, so they're not gonna add a bunch of um, pigment to your lips. Like even though this is super bold and like hot pink in the tube, it's very sheer, so loving that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go put my brows on really quick and then we will move on to the eye look. So I've had this plumping gloss on for like, you know, it took me a solid probably five minutes to do my brows. These are so comfortable. There are some plumping glosses out there that are like unbearably tingly and like they kind of sting your lips. Um, and this formula does not. Like I wouldn't even say this is like super plumping because um, I can barely feel like the peppermint tinglingness. So if you are like looking at these glosses and like wondering how tingly and uncomfortable they are, they are not. They are just like a perfect gloss almost. Like it's. Like it's just more of a gloss with some peppermint in it. <laughs> For the eyes today, I kind of dug through some palettes that I haven't used in a really long time. And I found this Carity Rose All Day Eyeshadow Palette. I bought this a long time ago. It's like one of those brands that is on Instagram and Facebook all the time. Um, and this palette just really like drew me in. How gorgeous is this? It's just a bunch of like mauve pink and gold tones this is totally like right up my alley um and i've only used this palette one time i don't even know if i used enough shadows to know whether i like it or not um so i kind of wanted to dig this back out today and try it um because my lip is so bold and so beautiful i kind of want to do just like a really simple look um using some of these mauve tones this one right here this drenchies color is like a corally brownie like mauve color like i want to put this on my eyes so bad so i think we're gonna go with this today so the first shade i'm gonna go into is that drun drenchies drunchy what's a drunchies drunchies shade and i'm just gonna put this in 
my crease to start. Focusing most of the color on the outer part of the eye and then once the brush doesn't have as much eyeshadow on it, I kind of bring it in to that inner part and just keep blending so I have that nice diffused look. This is a gorgeous freaking color, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go into this like purpley mauve shade. This is called, gosh, why do they come up with the weirdest names? Look, I'm not even gonna say this. I'll just make a little thing. It says, it's like L Chame. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm just gonna take that shade and keep this on the outer half. I'm just going to focus this color mostly on the lid part of the eye and just blending it up into the crease a little bit. The shade kind of comes off, I mean in the pan it looks pretty pinkish purpley but it's more pink on my eyes. That's usually what happens with like pink shades on me. They are just like very pink always. I have to be kind of careful with these pink tones but this so far is okay. So I'm just focusing this on the outer lid and then blending it up to meet that pink shade. I want to go into this color right here. It's called Froze. I've never actually had Froze. It's like rose that's like a slushy. I'm just going to take that on my finger and pat it on my lid. Oh, this, this shade is more like a metallic shade, but it's not really showing up very well. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm not really loving that shade. That's pretty like white <laughs> on my eyes. So I'm gonna take this shade right here this is like a champagne color it's called clink and i'm also going to just take that on my finger and go right over the top of that okay that's not even doing anything i mean it's pretty it's just like not champagne like it is on in the palette Okay, I think I want a color in between the white and the pink shade. So I'm gonna take this like um, light pink shimmery shade, it's called Brunch. This is a very like brunchy themed palette. And I'm just gonna put this right in between the pink shade and the outer V shade to kind of hopefully help with the transition. I'm gonna go back and like kind of blend out or bring that La Clam or whatever color back into the outer portion. These like matte shades are really gorgeous, but the like shimmery shades are not coming off like very true to color. I'm gonna take that original Drunchies color and bring that back in up here and just kind of blend that out very lightly i really love this like whatever i don't what's a drunchies really like this color called drunchies but i don't know what drunchies are does that mean like the drunk munchies i'm gonna take that drunchies color again and just run this along the lower lash line And then I'm going to take the face highlight I used today. I used the Maybelline Master Chrome. And I'm just going to put this on a flat brush and highlight my brow bone. This kind of goes with the palette because it's kind of a rose gold highlight. I love this highlight so much. I'm just going to pop this under my brows and in my inner corners. 
I really wish this those like shimmery shades were more golden but it's okay I also bought in my ColourPop order I ordered a couple of their new repackaged cream gel liners I bought the black one and I bought the nude one so I'm gonna pop the nude one in my waterline Kind of get rid of some of the redness and then i'm going to take the black one i've heard really good things about these i hope they don't smear <laughs> and i'm going to just tight line the top lash line Alrighty, last step is mascara to keep with the theme i think we'll just use the ColourPop volumizing mascara this is not my favorite mascara at all i actually really don't like it um, but I need to use it up because I opened it, so I'm just going to pop this on my lashes. There are some days that this mascara looks really good, and some days it just looks like shit. Okay guys, so this is the final look using the Carity Rosé All Day Palette. Um, I think I'm going to have to play with this one a little bit more. I really love like this this drenchy shade and this laclam or whatever shade um, but these like shimmery shades are really hard to work with um, I, I typically use my finger to apply shimmery shades and these ones just did not want to like they did not want to apply and they're such gorgeous shades that that's really a bummer because this one could be like a really nice like champagne shade um, I tried to use this one as well and it just didn't work but overall the matte shades are really gorgeous I'm not going to give up on it yet though it's got a lot of potential um, but the lippies are like my standout product today the lippy stick from ColourPop this is the color I love this this is such a fun color this is like the bulk of the color that you see on my lips today um, and then the gloss the so juicy gloss these are really comfortable to wear um, I don't like plumping glosses I Generally, if I hear plumping in the name, I will just steer clear of them, um, but this is this is really comfortable. This is pretty much just a gloss with like a peppermint scent. I don't really feel like it's doing any plumping, um, but it is very comfortable and it's just like a nice sheer wash of color. Um, so I really like these. I bought a, a nude shade too, so I'm excited to use that. But I really like these lippy sticks as well. Um, I love that it's got like this pointed edge to it so that you can get that nice precise look. Um, and it's matte without being super matte and super drying. So I'm really excited about these and they're so affordable. Like how could you, I mean, how could you say no to these? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe before you go. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time. And I appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you next time.